Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at a Milwaukee staple gun and battery combo. Uh, this is a deal currently going on at Home Depot for, I don't know if this is a Christmas sale or just a Black Friday sale slash Cyber Monday sale specifically, um, but it's a pretty good deal. So the stapler and the battery is $99.99 at Home Depot. It is as of today, so as of November 30th, 2020. It is still on their website as such, $99. Uh, the, the stapler itself is usually worth more than that. Uh, I was in the market for one. I usually put my Christmas lights up with the stapler. I figured that it's easier to use the battery powered one uh, than the regular manual old school one. So I decided $100 worth it. Um, I've already used this unlike normal, so it is out of the box already and stuff. Uh, I'm going to look at the box itself first and kind of go over some features that it displays on the box. Then I'm going to show you how to load the stapler, how to operate it overall, and then kind of my, my closing thoughts regarding it. Okay, so let's take a look at the box first. The box is a regular Milwaukee M12 box. It is a M12, of course, 3 8 stapler. It is the tool only box because it doesn't come with a charger or anything like that. If you look on the back, of course, they put the sticker in the most unopportune spot possible. This is your sizes for what staples you can use. So you can use 9 16 half inch, 3 8 5 16 or quarter. Uh, so a wide variety. They are the standard T50 staples. So if you have Aero branded ones or Stanley or Craftsman or whatever, as long as they're T50 staples, like it goes in any other gun, you can work with these, which is very nice. You don't have to buy Milwaukee specific. Some of the features it has, uh, it has a belt hook. It has a contract or contact trigger, meaning that if you hold the trigger down and press down on your, on your material, it'll shoot automatically without another trigger pull. Uh, it has a power dial on it, uh, dry fire lock, so you can't shoot them like you can regular staple guns, right? You have to actually press against the material in order for this to fire. Um, I have no clue what this is supposed to say, because again, this, the sticker's in the worst spot po humanly possible. Uh, and then a slotted magazine design, meaning that you can see how many staples you have left, which is very nice. So yeah, that's pretty much it in the box. Pretty standard. Um, it also comes with a battery. So a little two amp hour Milwaukee M12 battery. Nothing fancy about it, right? Uh, but it's nice that it comes with it. So that is our two things you'll get in your box if you order it from Home Depot. And of course, the actual tool. So it is not a brushless tool, it is a brush tool. That doesn't really make any difference in this scenario considering it is just a staple gun. You're not having continuous use out of it, right? Uh, it's not like a drill or an impact or you know, even like yard equipment where it's constantly running. Uh, this is motor runs when you pull the trigger and that's it. Uh, this is the design of the slide like it was talking about. So you can see I've already used it, so I have staples in there. Um, in order to change that, in order to change out the staples, what you're going to do is you're going to go in the bottom. You're going to lift up on this tab right here, and it's going to automatically spring out to you. From there, you can load your staples with the points up towards you in that little channel. Once you're done, you're going to slide that closed, and it'll click. This point on the end... This little black point is your safety. So when you're firing, you'll press it against the material. It'll push it all the way flat, and then it'll be able to fire. You have your power adjusting on the back. So you can scroll up for more, uh, more depth in wood or harder wood, uh, and down for softer wood if you don't want as much depth in your staples. Uh, you have the belt hook, like it said, down here. Uh, on the other side, you have your tag. And on all around the tool, which is really nice, you have these little pads, right? So when you're putting it down on your workbench, 
uh, it's not sliding around, which is really nice. So when we look at, let's take a battery, and we put the battery into the tool, it slides in just like that. And in order to check the battery, so this is the battery gauge right here, you just pull the trigger. So this battery is full, it shows a full battery. You notice when I pull the trigger, nothing happens, right? But if I went and pushed down, it goes in just like that. And again, this is where that setting comes in. If you want a lower setting, if you don't want it as far into the material, you can scroll all the way down. And there's a lot of adjustments, just in case you're wondering. <laughs> and you can try it again. Of course, it'll be in harder materials, or if you have something in the way of it, it won't go as much. Um, I've used this. I put about 500 staples in it so far, or through it so far. Uh, works great. Uh, there's a couple of times where it's kind of a little strange, uh, meaning that it doesn't, I, I would say the 500 times, maybe five times, uh, it feels like it doesn't have enough power, but that is a very minute percentage when you look at it that way, right? It's it's 1%. Um, every other staple driven on this thing is great. Uh, I never really seem to have a problem with it. It doesn't, it, it's pretty consistent on what power level you pick. So if you're going in the lowest setting, uh, expect that consistency. If you're if you're stapling into something, it's going to be pretty consistent throughout. If you have it on a really high setting, it's going to be pretty consistent in terms of its driving abilities throughout. Um, I, I've had no problems with it at all. It seems to be a great tool. Uh, I figured I would give you guys a look at it, considering I actually have some some time behind this one too. So hope you enjoy. Um, if you like it, please give me a like. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know. I, I'd be more than happy if it's not a stupid amount of money to, to go take a look at it. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all next time.